I'm Pat Wilson from Bessemer City, North uh-huh. Carolina. This is Trent Bunting from Gastonia, North Carolina. Superstars. <laughs> you are. He is a superstar, that's right. Well, Pat, you're here in the Wound Healing Center at uh, Cleveland Regional Medical Center, and what have they been doing for you? They've been uh, putting a wound graft on my, is that right, a wound graft? A dermograft. A dermograft on my foot. And these are the nicest people that could ever be. Uh-huh. They've been excellent to me. We are uh, going to put these dermograft on here, which is sort of a matrix collagen matrix that has healing agents in it, growth factors, and right now I'm going to mark the graph, kind of trace it around it, marking the graph so that you put it on just the right shape. Kind of provides a scaffolding for the patient's own uh, tissue to grow into, and it has factors in it that cause new blood vessels to grow, stimulate new blood vessels. And this is the, it's the fourth or fifth graft she's had, is that right? The fifth graft. We do it about once a week. And her, she started off with a hole in her foot. And um, one that was created by pressure onto her shoe and the callus that she had on the bottom of her foot. She couldn't feel what was happening because she's lost all her sensation from her diabetes. So it turns out we're like wearing a hole in the bottom of your foot, just like if you have a stone in the bottom of your foot. Mm-hmm. And so once we got all the bad callus trimmed away, she was left with a hole in her foot. We've been filling it in by putting this, this graft on it. And so after four weeks of treatment, it's, she's got, uh, it's pretty much patched up the hole, hasn't it? Or it's looking Filling pretty in. good, yeah. Filling in. How long have you had a diagnosis of, of diabetes? How long have I had? About seven years, eight years. Seven, eight years. And it isn't a fun thing to have either. How long did you know you had a problem with your food? I saw it. Uh, it's the only way that when you don't have any feeling, so I don't have any s- sensations at all in my foot. And that's the only way you have to know is by looking, keeping a check in on your feet regularly. I think she's right. That's, that's hard to do sometimes. Is that something that happened over time? You kind of losing the feeling in your feet? Yeah. You know, just uh, well, I've got. Uh, Neuropathy in my feet. Neuropathy. Mm-hmm. Both of them. I have neuropathy, and that's why that even just walking in the house, you can, you know, you can something that's falling to the ground. I, I can hit it, you know, with my foot and not even know what to do. So it's it's a it's a hard thing to, you know, to you have to look at it daily. You have to, you know, to keep something on it all the time, and and the way they've treated me here is sensational too. I have to say that again. But they've really done a good job. They've done a good job on me. Uh, my name's Wendy England, and I'm a nurse here at the Wound Care Center. Um, I've been here obviously since it started in June, and I really enjoy working here. I have worked in home care for seven years. Um, and I've been wound care certified for four of those seven. And I've been looking for a, for work in a wound care center, but obviously there was not one close enough to work in. I was very excited when Randy called me um, in for an interview because I had thought that the job had already been filled, the wound center was probably already open, and he called me and I was very excited to accept the job. Um, I see the patients with the doctor, I get them ready for the doctor to come in, and I help him with any procedures that he has to do. And today we watched you do the dermograph thing. Mm-hmm. What kind of results have you seen? What's your been, been your experience with it? Um, I have not used it until I came here to the wound care center and Miss Patsy was our first patient that I had used it on. It takes a little bit of prep time to get it ready. Um, her wound does look really good so I, I think that it's going to work. Um, that hers is actually the first one I've seen though. 
The changes with the dermograft are usually not dramatic. It's a slow change because what you're putting in there is something that's less than the, the depth of a sheet of paper. So it is building up each week so it doesn't come in from the outside, it comes from the up, from the bottom up. So you don't get instant closure like you're thinking of putting a skin graft over. It actually builds on the little graft that you put on, like you said, like a scaffolding, and it builds from the bottom up rather than from the outside in first. Would you say that her uh, progress is typical of people that you're doing these skin grafts on? Well, it's the progress you want people to have. You know, we like to see it just getting better all the time. Yeah. The trend's good. We know it's going to take a while, but as long as it's getting better, I feel really good about it. Putting this cast on distributes the weight of her foot off the bottom of her foot all, all the way back to the rest of her leg. So getting offloading of this area is really kind of key to making it heal. So it's a whole combination of things. It's debriding away the, the dead tissue and making it clean and making an environment that will cause tissue to grow into it. So that's part of what the dermograph does. And then taking the pressure off of it, which is what this cast is going to do. All those things together work together. Um, I think the work that's being done here at the center is wonderful. This is such a need in this community. Like I said, I've worked in home care for seven years and three of those seven years I worked here in Cleveland County and there was nowhere to send your patients to that for specific wound care. You could send them to their primary care or here and there, but nobody who specifically did wounds and was doing aggressive treatment like we're trying to do here.